Water is something that is a necessity for humans to survive. We drink it, we swim in it, and, well, our body and organs are basically made up of it. Simply put, we need it to live, now. Imagine all of the water that we drink gets taken away, or you decide to give it up. But have you ever wondered how long you could actually survive without water? We look into this curious question now. We know that a child locked in a car on a really hot day would be in trouble within a space of a few hours, but for our assessment, let's just say that the conditions are normal and you've decided to give up water. Your urine will turn dark. When your body is running low on water, your brain tells your body to send the water to the blood rather than flushing it out in the urine, which causes your urine to go darker. Your brain begins to shrink. When you don't drink water and you don't have as much water inside of you, your brain begins to shrink. This will make you more irritable and makes it more difficult for your brain to act out the simplest of daily tasks. You will feel really hungry. Being hungry is often mistaken for being thirsty. This leads to overeating and putting on weight. So if you're not drinking any water at all, you'll definitely feel a lot more hungry compared to usual. You'll experience severe headaches. As I said earlier, your brain is shrinking by this point and as your brain is having to work twice as hard to do the most simplest of tasks, you're going to be suffering with severe headaches. You will gain water weight. If you haven't already gained weight from all of the overeating that you have been doing, you would have definitely gained weight from all of the water that your body is holding onto. And finally, you would slowly die of thirst. All of this stuff happening would of course be leading up to the point of you dying. Eventually, you would stop going to the toilet, you'd experience muscle spasms, and after time, blood stops flowing to the skin, making you turn a greyish colour. After all of this tremendous pain and suffering, at around the third day of not drinking water, your organs will begin to fail and you will perish. So, it's probably not the wisest thing to do, is it? That giving up water.